I'm Brian Fisher from the California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco, and welcome to the Madagascar Biodiversity Center here in the capital, Antananarivo. The center opened in 2006 and grew out of our passion to document the spectacular diversity of insects across Madagascar. Throughout our travels, we met the locals who taught us one thing, that forest is impossible to protect when those living nearby are hungry. At NBC, we're focusing our science to develop innovations to address this downward spiral of increasing malnutrition and to stem forest loss. At the core of this research is the training and mentoring of future Malagasy scientists. I invite you to learn more about our leadership training program, how we measure biodiversity, and to experience our innovative insect-based food products to address nutrition of people, animals, and plants. Balsam Radimson, the director of Madagascar Biodiversity Center. Since the construction of our center in 2006, I've led our organization as it grew from a sport team of five staff in 2006 and now an institution with over 50 full-time staff in Tana and 110 staff across Madagascar. My role is to ensure the core funding of our center and the national and international relations for the continued success of MPC. My name is Sylvain Eugel and I'm a researcher at the French National Center for Scientific Research and University of Strasbourg, where I work on physiology, neuroscience, but also on insects from the Malagasy region. As a member of the Governing Council of the Madagascar Biodiversity Center, I help researchers and students to define objectives targeting communities and biodiversity, since both environment and quality of life issues are deeply intermingled and are more efficiently addressed together. One of my role is to ensure that the scientific research conducted at the center fulfills the highest international standards in terms of protocols, statistics and ethics. For example, now I'm just about to review a new animal facility that has been installed at the center and I'm very excited because with that facility it will be possible to assess the impact of insect-based products to fight malnutrition and its anxiodepressive consequences.